What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fi back uh, with my plays of the day here Friday. It was so great to have football back last night, but we focused back on baseball today. I um, want to remind you guys, all my plays, all my ownerships, all of everything I'm doing is on TrueDFS.com. Uh, you can also get Sheets is Sheets. It's a month free for right now, and Sheets is Sheets have been just crushing. These guys are absolutely killing League of Legends and NASCAR and stuff that I don't really touch, as well as baseball, as well as I'm expecting football because this has been just unbelievable so far. Um, really, really, really the most unique uh, sheets you're going to find in the industry, the most you know, I, I really think that they're the best. Uh, it's the best in terms of you plug it into an optimizer and it's just spitting out great results. So I wanted to get that out of the way before I talk about my plays. Uh, I will highlight, you know, some individual bats that I like, but for the most part, I want to talk overall slate. What I'm going to do, uh, my, my pitchers uh, that I'm going to be using the most of are Marquez and Anderson, probably on DraftKings. On FanDuel, it'll be Anderson and Ray. I do like Ray still on DraftKings. I also like Valdez quite a bit on DraftKings. And I like, uh, I have some interest in McGill, assuming that he does in fact start. I've heard some back and forth things about that Mets game. Uh, interest in Rodon, interest in Urias, which is kind of interesting because I, you wouldn't usually think against San Diego, but Urias is a six and a half K prop and has been just so consistent. And San Diego has not been that good against lefties and their lineup has been a little shaky as of late. So those are my main guys. The guys who I'm filling in with like small percentages of Lynch, Jax, Molly, Blackburn, Otto, Gonzalez. I will have some interest there, but mostly it's going to be the guys I mentioned. As far as bats go, it's hard for me to escape Toronto today. I think that they're significantly better than everybody else in terms of expected production. But there are some stacks you can combo stack them with. There's ways you can get different. It's a huge slate. I don't think you need to go there. My other stack interests are Cincinnati, I think, is going to get a little bit like getting a little bit overlooked today against Leicester. And maybe you don't want to do a full stack. They don't have a, an extremely high run total. But I actually feel pretty good about them in that matchup. St. Louis with an adequate bullpen behind them, but I still like that spot quite a bit. And I will be heavy on uh, Cincinnati. Uh, Toronto is going to be significantly higher than everyone else, but these are the other teams I'm using as well. Tampa Bay, um, I think that you get, you get some cheap bats and guys like Margot and Luplo on both sites, and you can fill it in. And your Nelson Cruz, who I think is one of the best plays on the whole slate today, and will be one of my top five overall plays on the slate. Um, other than that, I think you've got Milwaukee as my next favorite. There's a bunch of other stacks that I have similar to like some interest in Atlanta being one of them, although the prices make it hard. It's going to make them really low owned as well. Minnesota, I think is going to get some attention. They've got some really cheap bats, uh, ref Schneider, namely to be one of them, uh, Seattle against, uh, Madison Bumgarner in Seattle. I think that in the American league park, especially Hanniger, who's also one of my preferred plays of the day is in that matchup. So again, it's a lot of outfielders to use. So I tend to want my plays to be on the infield, but these guys that just really stand out. I love Hanager against Mad Bum and that horrible bullpen they have in Arizona. Um, I will get a little bit of Miami and Houston, um, but they're going to be large field, very, very little entries for me that I'm actually going to commit to those, but those are guys I'm interested in. Other main bats you're going to look at, Christian Yelich is going to stand out with his price at 3.9K on DraftKings. I believe he's 35 on FanDuel. But uh, especially on DraftKings, Yelich, another outfielder, unfortunately, which will make me move on to the infield. And my infield is going to be a combination of, of a lot of Blue Jays in general. Vlad, um, I will be using some Jake Lamb, assuming that he's in the lineup. I will be using some Simeon, some Bichette. These guys I, I expect to actually be over the field on Toronto because I like them better. But uh, that course, of course, may change. You know, we never know who's going to end up pitching somewhere. You know, all of a sudden the Marlins come out with like that lousy pitcher last minute like they sometimes do. Uh, I might go heavier on Atlanta, but that is the way that I'm looking at it right now. I really, really, really want to get exposure to this, uh, these Blue Jays, especially Vlad Simeon. Um, the other ones I like, but uh, those two I, I really love. So they're my main infield plays. Uh, other cheap bats that I'll be using, uh, Daniel Vogelbach in that Milwaukee, outside of a stack or in a stack, he's 2K. Rowdy Tellez, assuming that he makes the lineup also with the American League Park, I think they both can play. Um, they're both minimum, and you can play them both on FanDuel together. You can play them on DraftKings. Uh, unfortunately, you can't play both of them on DraftKings together, but it is uh, some cheap options there. Ref Schneider against the lefty at, at 2.2K is just a little too cheap. And uh, we've got... Uh, I think I mentioned Lemplo and Margot. The, uh, the Shields, I will, I will include in some of my uh, Cincinnati stacks. If they come out with something funky and have them near the top of the order, I'm going to love them because I think there's a great stolen base upside matchup here against Leicester. But uh, he's another minimum cost guy you can use. 
that's sort of the main sort of breakdown the way that I see it. I know this is going to be a quick video. Uh, sort of some bets that I have up there. I like Marquez over 5Ks tonight. And I like the blue. I like the Brewers a lot to win that game in Cleveland. I know they're going to be favored, but I would actually like give up a run, um, run and a half or whatever. I really think they they have a nice game here as well as Cincinnati over St. Louis. All right, guys. So check everything else out on TrueDFS.com. Join us in Discord. I'll post a link here in the video uh, in the dis- description, and I'll post a link to TrueDFS as well. And uh, let's get them today, guys. Let's crush it and make some money for NFL. Good luck, everybody.